as we say, the Tory leadership contenders will be whittled down to three today with MPs set to cast their votes in the fourth round. This comes as chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Tom Tugendhat, was eliminated after receiving the fewest amount of votes, 31 in total. Yes, the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak held on to first place, going up a little bit with 115 votes. The final two candidates will be decided by tomorrow. Yes, well, joining us now to talk about this in more detail is the political editor of the Huffington Post UK, Kevin Schofield. Kevin, thanks for joining us um, today. I think we spoke to you last week. Uh, what, what's your analysis of where things are today? A few days on, it's been quite the last few days, hasn't it, for those contenders? It has indeed. Yeah, we're getting down to the real exciting point now. I mean, it, it seems as though Rishi Sunak has has pretty much confirmed his um, his position in the final two runoff. Uh, I think that's pretty much guaranteed. Um, but the second place, the person who he'll go up against, is absolutely up for grabs. And you know, you're just talking there about Tobias Elwood losing the whip. He will no longer be able to vote for Penny Morden. And you know, at a time of fine margins, you know that one vote could actually prove. Crucial. So we've got Kemi Badnock, we've got Liz Truss, and we've got Penny Morden basically vying for that um, second place. Now, Kemi Badnock came fourth last night, but she is advancing round on round, and she actually closed ground on Liz Truss. I think Liz Truss would be a bit disappointed that her vote didn't go up by more. It went up by seven uh, yesterday. I think she'd have been expecting to make um, a little bit more of an advance. So, uh, so yeah, all eyes now on Graham Brady walking into committee room 14 at 3pm this afternoon to find out who the, who the next person being uh, kicked out of the race is. Yes, it's interesting. I was speaking to Alex Shelbrook a bit earlier this morning, a backer of Liz Truss, who was saying that he thinks that Liz might well pick up a bit of support from Tom Tugendhat. Now, that's a bit of, that surprised me a little bit because Tom Tugendhat seemed to be more on the left of the party. He seemed to be someone who's not really sort of signed up to those that tax-cutting agenda of Liz Truss. But perhaps this is what her re-announcement this morning of wanting to reach 3% of GDP spending on defence, perhaps this is a bit of a cynical ploy by her this morning. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's just pure pure politics, isn't it? I think all uh, three of those candidates that I mentioned will now be vying for Tom Tugendhat's supporters. I mean, what, what we've seen so far in, in the race is that the MPs don't tend to move as a block when they um, when their candidate leaves the race. I mean, Strela Braverman, mm -hmm. I think, got 27 votes in, in the final round that, that, that she was involved in. She then came out for Liz Truss, but only seven, uh, only seven more votes went towards Liz Truss in the end, so clearly those 27 Braverman votes went elsewhere. So mm. we saw it last night as well. Penny Morden put out a, a, a release very, very quickly after the result last night, describing Tom Tugendhat as a friend and colleague, clearly desperate for his endorsement. So we're still waiting to find out who Tom Tugendhat himself is endorsing. But yeah, that doesn't guarantee that everyone that voted for him yesterday will automatically vote for that person. So it'll be interesting to see where those, where those votes go.